Today in our 2009 Chrysler Town & Country, we'll be installing the Tow Ready T1 connector, part number 118552. To start our install, we'll first open up the rear cargo door and remove the driver's side taillight housing. There are two fasteners securing the housing that we'll remove first. Then we'll gently pry and pull the taillight assembly away from the body of the vehicle. Be careful not to break the alignment tabs as you do so. Now with our taillight assembly removed, we can go ahead and unlock the red locking tab and disconnect the wiring connector from the bulb and socket. We'll do this for each plug here on the driver's side. This will allow us to go ahead and take the taillight assembly and set it aside for reinstallation later. Next, we'll go ahead and take the yellow and brown wire connector and plug in line with the manufacturer's wiring here on the driver's side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take the four pole connector and feed it down between the bumper body and the sheet metal of the vehicle. Next, we'll take the green wire and connector and repeat the same process. This will get routed over to the passenger side. Now, with both wires run underneath the vehicle and out of the way, we can go ahead and mount our converter box. To do this, we'll simply clean off a flat surface area to mount the box to. We'll peel back the cover on the two-way adhesive and attach it just below the taillight assembly. Next, we'll take the white wire with the pre-attached ring terminal, which will be our ground wire for our converter box, and attach it to the body of the vehicle using a self-tapping screw. Our next step will be connecting the black power wire provided with our install kit with the red power wire coming out of the converter box. To do this, we'll strip back both ends and use the yellow buck connector to make our connection. Now with both ends connected, we can go ahead and take some black electrical tape and wrap up this connection point to keep out any dust, dirt, debris, or moisture. Next, we'll go ahead and take the black power wire and feed it underneath the vehicle just as we did the green wire connector and four pole connector. Now with all our connections made or run here on the driver's side, we can go ahead and reconnect the wires to the taillight assembly, making sure we relock the red locking tabs. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the driver's side taillight assembly. Next we'll go ahead and remove the passenger side taillight assembly in the same way we did the driver's side. Now we'll go ahead and get underneath the vehicle and take the green wire connector and route it over to the passenger side. We're gonna run just behind the bumper beam or structure itself inside the bumper channel. This will allow us to stay away from any moving components such as the steering or suspension or excessive heat such as the exhaust. Now that we've got the green wire over to the passenger side and fed up behind the taillight assembly, we'll go ahead and route the four pole connector over to the center of the vehicle and down to the hitch. Now we can go ahead and take some of the black zip ties provided with our install kit and secure our wiring. Now with those wires secured, we'll go ahead and get back in behind the passenger side taillight assembly, plug in line with the manufacturer's wiring and then into the taillight assembly. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall the passenger side taillight assembly. Next, we'll go ahead and take our black power wire and run it up into the engine compartment of the vehicle. Keep in mind when routing your wires, you wanna stay away from any moving components such as steering or suspension or excessive heat such as the exhaust. Next, we'll go ahead and pull our black wire up into the engine compartment and route it to the positive battery terminal. I'll use a couple of black zip ties to secure my wiring along the way. Next, I'll go ahead and cut off the excess from our power wire, strip back the end, and then prep my fuse holder. We'll take the fuse holder, cut in half, strip back both ends, adding a yellow ring terminal to one side and a yellow butt connector to the other. Then we can go ahead and take our fuse holder and attach it to the black power wire. Once again, we'll go ahead and take some black electrical tape and wrap up this connection point. Now I'll go ahead and remove the nut on the positive battery terminal stud. 
We can go ahead and slip the ring terminal onto the stud and then reattach the nut. Next, I go ahead and take a couple black zip ties and secure my wiring. Now with my wiring secured, we'll go ahead and take our side cutters, cut off any excess, and then we can install the fuse and fuse holder cap. This will complete the installation of our Toe Ready T1 connector, part number 118552 on our 2009 Chrysler Town & Country.